All right. This is the moment I've been waiting for. I, I would think I will be thoroughly entertained by this. But, so this is OSN. I can't say his original name. That's why he had to change it. OSN. Yeah. So. Peace of mind. Such a big. His. This video is the top 10 basketball players of all time. Right. We're not going to watch the whole thing. We're just going to skip through points. All right. So. 1,000% all facts. <laughs> That's what he's saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, wait. <laughs> off with the notables. Allen Iverson, one of the best pound for pound players of all time. Didn't have the post, didn't have any postseason success really. Wasn't an insane teammate. Not on not the list. Hakeem Olajuwon, insane in big man. In totality, not on the list. Um, big O, average a triple double. I never really seen him play. Maybe if I seen him play, he might have been on the list. Not on the list. Steph Curry, when it's all said and done, he might be a top ten player. Steph Curry might be a top ten player. Not on the list. Um, These are people that's not on the Durant, list. when it's all said and done, he might be a top 10 player. Really, I feel like making the 10 through 20 or the 10 through 30 list, if you guys want to see that, is going to be even harder than the 1 through 10. But anyways, let's get it started with number 10. And okay, so you have any issues with the notables? I do. What? Akeem Olajuwon is top 10. Yes, but I do it. I do it. <laughs> I do it. I do it. That's easy. <laughs> but this guy's young, so we'll, we'll see. But no, no, because me and Terrence agree. Yeah, he's older than us. Me and Terrence agree that King Olajuwon is top 10. Yeah. So Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Not even, we're not debating that. It is nothing that anybody can tell. Like, the only thing that people can say is that he, he only won when Jordan was around. That's the only thing people can say. Yeah, but he did it back to back. Did it back to back. So there's not, and people and from that last dance documentary, there was like anybody would have took the king number one. Oh no doubt, ahead of Jordan. Yeah, so, you had to. Had to. Yeah. Number ten. I have Kobe Bryant. What the hell did you just say? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Y'all think he was ready to click on? Okay. And number ten, I got Bill Russell. All right. He's got 11 rings, 7-1 in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? We get all of that. He didn't really lose. He's a legend. We get all of that. I didn't really see him play. From the videos and the stuff that I was watching, some of the other big men on this list, all of the other big men on this list are more dominant offensively than him, right? He's just not offensively that dominant. He's good. He wasn't bad. He's top 10. But he wasn't... And that insane on offense. Um, is there anything I'm missing? He got, I mean, got the most rings, 11 rings. Okay. At number nine, I have Tim Duncan. Now, some people might have Tim Duncan at 10, Bill Russell ahead of him. The reason that I put Tim Duncan ahead of Bill Russell, I think he has more offense. Both of them are not flashy, right? They've got almost, I mean, not almost. <laughs> They're better than have 11 rings. But they both have a lot of rings, right? They both have a lot of rings. Tim Duncan, his offense is a little bit better. Shots way better, right? He's just, he's not flashy, not as cool as Kevin Garnett, but he's Tim Duncan. So I got him, I got him above uh, Bill Russell at number nine. All right. Tim, is Tim Duncan better than Keem Olajuwon? No. Is Bill Russell better than Keem Olajuwon? No. Okay. It's all over. Okay, at number eight, <laughs> I have Will Chamberlain. Will Chamberlain is Will Chamberlain better than Keeble Lodge? No. Thank you. It's hard for me to know where to place Will. Like when I first made this list, I had Will above Kobe. I had all of the Lakers above Kobe. But then I was like, all right, maybe I'm tripping. Will is for sure better than Bill Russell, in my opinion. If you go look at the stats, every time they played, he would dominate the hell out of them. Right? But they didn't Will, win. Will they didn't was win. insanely <laughs> dominant. But he wasn't really playing against anybody. He didn't have that much competition. So it's kind of hard to put him super high on this list. 
I don't know, maybe even Tim Duncan. They play with the rims that be on the outside. Might be a little <laughs> bit <laughs> more. The rims is garbage. <laughs> historically better than him, but I'm gonna go Will. Right? I'm gonna go Will at no. number eight. He's it. Now. Now it starts getting really good. I have a Kobe Bryant, to me, oh was the hardest thing about this list. I struggled with what I want. Do I want to put Kobe at 10, at 9, at 8? Do I want to put him at 5? Like, Kobe is a really... Kobe might be the hardest player to rank on an all-time list yeah. out of anyone. I will, I will agree with right? that. Why you say that? I disagree. Why? I think Kobe's easy. What? Three. Okay, okay, okay. Because that's where I got. Yeah. That's where I got. I just I understand why people have confusion with him because of like the most missed shots. But it, like in that period of like bad Lakers basketball with Shaq left and yeah. before Powell showed up, there was nobody on that team but Kobe. But Kobe. Yeah. So like, oh yeah, Lamar Odom. Lamar Odom was not the same Lamar Odom when they won championships. During that time, right? Y'all remember Smush Parker, Kwame Brown? Yeah, I mean you're right. I mean, it's, there's, there's, there's no way. Okay, so this ain't even working for me. So skip to the. I want to see what he's got in the end. In top three? Yeah. Okay. So, so five. This is this is five. So he's got Kobe, Bird, Shaq. Okay. Okay. I think four is magic. Four is magic and three is Kareem. Okay. Right, period. Point blank player. Curry will not he will not go down as the best point guard of all. He won't he might hit the top ten, but he will never go down as better than Magic Johnson. All right, Curry fans will just let that go. He's the best point guard of all time. He's literally basically like LeBron. He can do it all. He can play any position on the court. He can do it all. He's just a little bit not as strong or as athletic as LeBron. But he can literally do it all. Um I would probably, I think I might rather have Magic than Kareem, but all of the GOATs, everyone's list who I was looking at, all of the stuff that everyone has Kareem in the top three, if not one or two, everyone has Kareem in the top three. It's I'm Kareem going to the respect top three. it. Mm. Could you make a case for him being in the top three? I guess you could make a case, but he's he wouldn't be in my top three. Why, why, why not? Just because when you, Kareem, when you're talking about the greatest of all time, you got to think about the team that Kareem was on, which would include Magic, James Worthy, um, Michael Cooper, Kurt Rambis. I mean, he was loaded. And before that, he was just the guy. And he didn't get five rings until he got to the, the stacked Lakers. Um the way I look at this list, so if we just stay right here, all right, by sheer numbers, you're going to say Bill Russell because he has 11. Yep. But Larry Bird, no mobility, no jumping ability, no – he had nothing. Uh, by the way, hold on. By the way, my dad has been a Celtics fan for how long? Like 40 years? 40 Almost 40 years. years. So he watched Larry Bird. So This is, this this is, is blue-collar – this is how I look at it, blue collar. And this is how I distinguish who I think is better. Um, in my era, we would always compare, like you would skip errors and you say, is Wilt better than Shaq? Right. And my question would always be, if you're picking a team and Wilt and Shaq are the last two left, who are you taking? I'll take a Shaq. And I think most people would take Shaq. I'm taking Shaq every day. Yeah. <laughs> every day of the week. All day long. So I think... <laughs> That's where we this list gets kind of confusing. Tim Duncan, to me, if I gave my top ten, I don't know if Tim Duncan makes it. Really? Yeah, I don't. I don't know if he. I don't know if he makes it. Um, I, t Tim Duncan's very good. I just heard Richard Jefferson criticize Tim Duncan um, on ESPN about what? Where Jason Williams got up and walked off the set because he's saying that somebody's always carried Tim Duncan oh, throughout his God. career. Oh. So I just tweeted about that today because I thought Richard Jefferson is turned into a true talking head because what he wants to be is the polar opposite of something so that he can create attention. Um, there's nothing wrong 
with Tim Duncan, Will. But to me, if my top three is Mike, LeBron, Kobe. Kobe. Right. I think that is the easiest yep. three to pick right there. And right behind that, because I just believe you physically could not stop this person, Check. Shaquille O'Neal. Now, everybody else you can shuffle around to you blue in the face. But those top four right there, those were killers, with the exception of LeBron. He's not a killer, but athletically, from a talent standpoint, I know people say he's a genius on the basketball court. I don't think so, but I think he makes up with it with size and ability because he can do any and everything on the court. But sometimes people confuse that with how smart he is. Right. Um, I, I don't. I, I listened to a YouTube video one time that included Kyrie Irving as a uh, high school basketball player. And for whatever reason at this camp, there's LeBron James talking about a pin down. And I think everybody on the film realized that LeBron James didn't know what he was talking about. That wasn't a pin down. What he was describing and what he was trying to tell them to do. And I remember the look on Kyrie Irving's face where it almost was like, you don't even know what he's talking about. You know, so I'm I'm going to always question how yeah, smart. Talent. Yeah, in terms of basketball. Because sometimes we confuse that. We think just because somebody can play that they're very smart. Like, um, I think Draymond is one of the smartest basketball players. Is one of players. the smartest basketball players in the league. I totally agree. And it doesn't take extreme size nope. or quickness or nope. speed for nope. him. Because he's so smart, he knows how to work. Angles, positions. It, it, it's it's so different, but I think that's where like a Larry Bird would would come in too because he he ain't gonna out jump you, nope. he ain't gonna out run you, nope. you know what I'm saying? He's he not strong. He will give you buckets. He will give you buckets, <laughs> <laughs> night in and night out. Um, I used to argue with guys about Larry Bird all the time, but you know, career average plus twenty six for somebody who can't run or jump. Nah, come on, give me a break because everybody else can run and jump. Everybody else on this list, yeah, I'm jumping. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't even close. Yeah, so. It ain't even close. So, I I commend the young fellow for getting on there and, and, and showing his list. I'm not criticizing his list because that's his that's his opinion. Um, but I, I I would shake it up a little bit. So so who is his top? Everybody decision. Put career. I don't know. Probably books weird. Surprise you guys. At number two. And number one, I have. Michael Jordan at number I have Michael Jordan at number two and I have LeBron James at number one now if Michael Jordan hadn't went to the Wizards he would have finished his career 50% from the field that is insane he is the greatest closer of all time he is the best he has the most competitive spirit of all time. Michael Jordan, most competitive spirit, most competitive player in any sport we've ever seen. No one wanted it more than Michael Jordan. You couldn't, there was no, there was nothing that was gonna stop Michael Jordan from becoming Michael Jordan. Like he, that's just who he is. Um, but there's just a few reasons why I feel like LeBron is the greatest player of all time. Everybody always likes to say, this is the this is the, what everybody always likes to say. Michael Jordan has blah, blah, blah rings, fire ring, blah, 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 LeBron is, okay. This is my thing, guys. Michael Jordan cannot make it to the finals every year. Like, no one. Does that make sense? No. <laughs> so, he, he's got to rethink his thoughts here. Because I don't think he can come out of this starting out like that and sounding like. Because you can, can there you can convince me that you believe that LeBron is better than Michael Jordan. You you can, but he's not starting out very well. Okay. Ever likes to talk about that? Like, yeah, he's got all. Bro, he didn't make it. Ever, like, why didn't he make it ever? I think, bro? and this is one thing. Like people, LeBron fans on Twitter, they like to do this. Michael Jordan didn't make it to the finals, or he didn't win without Scottie Pippen. Okay, I'm like, here's, here's the what's the end goal in NBA? To get to the finals and win, right? Yeah. Your end goal is not to get to the finals and lose. And lose, and also not to get to the finals and quit. 
They have the, there are two occasions where you, we know you quit. LeBron James quit. So, like, and we never have seen that from Michael Jordan. I don't think we've seen that from anybody. Yeah, not not when you're not when you're there. That you just give up on your team, and then giving up on your team means you set up the next journey. Right. So you gave up. You quit on Cleveland. Well that, well, that one made sense because they didn't bring anybody in. No. It, I'm telling you why it didn't make sense. You talking about the first time or the second the time? The first time. First time. This is why I'm telling you why it, that didn't make any sense. Okay, so you were in a position to be drafted number one. Right. And you made that team competitive from the very beginning. From the very beginning, you stepped on the court in a Cleveland Cavalier uniform. They were now competitive. You did not give them an opportunity – because you just can't, you can't go from the top. See, all the team, LeBron's problem, or my problem with LeBron, what happened when he left and Cleveland was garbage? They got picks. Yep. All of a sudden, they could get some players, right. right? So now you can make this match and this can work. And what does he do? Oh, I'm going back home. Right. Because now I know I can win. I got Kyrie. I, they're getting Kevin Love. I got this. I got that. I got role players. That's garbage. You could have, if you was half, half the superstar that you claim to be, you would have been able to get individuals to come to Cleveland to play with you and win in Cleveland. But you quit on Cleveland, went to Miami, you quit on Miami, go back to Cleveland, and then you set Cleveland up for failure again, leaving them destitute for players. So you can go to L.A. Now you get ready to do the same thing to L.A. So any opinion about LeBron James being greater in totality than Michael Jordan, you're going to have to come strong because I'm going to always bring up those very same points to show that that young man, I'm not saying that young man is not talented. That's not what I'm saying at all. But he's shown me more of an inability to deal with adversity than he has than to deal with the success say, of yeah, an organization. We, we, we don't really see, like the one time we've seen him face adversity was in the finals when they came back from 3-1. Right. That's really about it. Yeah. But who carried him? Kyrie. Him and Kyrie. Kyrie. Him and Kyrie. Yeah. <laughs> Kyrie. And a little bit of luck because Draymond didn't play in game five. Get, get that would be the game right there. Yeah. So, you know, there's that. And then Kyrie had to help. Him and Kyrie had him 41. But I he won't take it 40, from him. Yeah. I won't take, you know, the championship from Toronto away because, you know, because of Golden State because everybody got hurt. Yeah. You know, they did what they had to do and, and, and they won. But it's, it's these type of lists and this opinion. Uh, and you got to be bold to put it out there because you open yourself up for criticism from two generations. That's the Michael Jordan era and the LeBron James era. And we understand that most of us fall into where we grew up right. in that time frame. He grew up with the LeBron James thing. Um, I don't find it cool to be going from team to team. Larry Bird, same team. Magic Johnson, same team. Dominique Wilkins, Atlanta Hawks, same team. These guys didn't move around like that. They they put it together in their prospective cities and made it happen. So, no offense to this gentleman, but you can go to hell with that shit. <laughs> if he is so good, so unstoppable, why can't he make it every year, bro? Or not even just every year. year. Why did so he make it, it more so times than when, LeBron? Fuck so making it every let's year. Do it like Why this. did so he? When he when LeBron made it to the when when did LeBron start making it to the finals consistently? When his teams got better. Yeah, when he went to to the finals, yeah. right? When his teams got better and yeah. the conference started to suck. The yeah. Eastern Conference. When he was in Miami, the conference sucked. Was sucked. Yeah. So there wasn't like there was the Celtics, and the the person that was guarding him was Paul Pierce. Yeah. So. That's when they was at their lowest. Yeah. So, LeBron, not LeBron, Mike, trying Tough. to make it to the finals before Scotty was Chicago, pissed, pissed. Detroit. I mean, you got to think about the Chicago Detroit series, the yep. Chicago Boston series, yep. the Chicago Cleveland series, where you were talking about seven or eight teams that had the potential to win the it finals. All. Yeah. yeah, the finals. Very, very, very good teams. Like in LeBron's there. era, time. There ain't been that many teams that we thought could win the final. No, like this you year, you kind of know every year who's, who's going. Gonna, yeah. This year, anybody going. The most competitive year. This is one of the most competitive time. years ever. The last two, two, three years, it's kind of been pretty obvious who's going. Yeah, yeah. Make it more times than LeBron. Why is LeBron going every year, bro? 
Yes, he might not win, but he goes every year. If Michael Jordan was so good, why can't he make it every year? Because he lost. He lost in the second round. He lost in the conference finals. You know what I'm saying? He lost before he could get to the finals. LeBron has never lost before he's gotten to the finals in the last... That in age book because he lost in the first round last year. Yeah. What? I don't even know how many I don't years like it's, been. it's been like 10 years. Regardless of when you lose, you, you lost. lost. Yeah. You didn't win <laughs> you the finals. Lost. You lost. You didn't. You didn't. You don't help your case if you lose in the first round, second round, or third you round. You lost. You lost. Yeah. Years. So there's that. There's that. There's the consistency of making it to the finals that makes LeBron better. There's the fact that no person in NBA history is better at taking a scrub team far than LeBron. You win. When? When did that happen? I mean, see, this this is his argument is flawed. It's it's flawed by how LeBron got to the final. And it, let's let's function on numbers. So he went ten times. He's only won four. Three. Oh, four. Oh, yeah, he's only won four. four. Just won four. Just yeah. won four. And one has an asterisk beside it because of the bubble. Because of the bubble. All right. So that's just that's just what it is. So that's. Four out of ten, what is that? Forty percent. Right? So you won forty percent of the times that you went to the finals. Now, sports is the only thing, only thing in life that you can be less than fifty percent of something good. and that could be good. Yep. So Michael Jordan went to the finals six times, won the finals six times, won MVP six times. Six to, what what you it was it six times? Oh, the the regular the the league MVP, the the finals MVP, finals MVP. Yeah, I think you won it six times. So that percentage, one hundred percent, is one hundred percent. So in in numbers, because I you can't argue numbers, and and what you're doing to me is you laying out the numbers that prove that Michael Jordan was better in a shorter amount of time, especially in a shorter amount of time. I I think people people love to. LeBron just passed him, but it took 17, 17 years, years to get there. Yeah. 17 years. Michael played 13 years, and then he went and became whatever he was in Washington for two years. <laughs> and there's no way, if, if if you're fair about the argument, there's there's no way he came out of the, the, the office <laughs> to play with the Wizards to think that that was a competitor. That was about showing people they how to go still, at the – Yeah. still do it. Yeah, let, let's look at this. Let's work hard. Let's do this. But his Chicago Bull career, 13 years, six championships, six finals, six MVPs, three or four scoring titles. Your LeBron James argument can go to hell. And, like, the carry of bad teams, again, Cleveland you carry a bad team, you still lost. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what does it mean to carry a bad team and lose? That's crazy. He garbage. I don't mean that totally. You put LeBron on the Nets. You put LeBron on the Cavs. Like, look at the Cavs, Steve. The Cavs are terrible. They got to get rid of everybody. They are, uh, like, they're worse than the Nets. We used to call them the Nets. They're worse than the Nets without LeBron. They're literally worse than, he literally took a team worse than the Nets to the finals by himself. Jordan can't do that. He cannot do that. Not at the same consistency that LeBron can, okay? So that's another reason. Another, here's another one for you. LeBron is, just, LeBron is going to be the only player in NBA history to finish top five in scoring and top ten in assists. Okay? He blows Jordan's assists out of the water. He's about to pass Jordan in points in like a month or two. He blows his assists. He's just all around a better player than Jordan. So I watched the video where somebody reacted to this. So he said, hold on. He broke it down because we're going to come back to this. Oh, here, go right here. Right here. So he pointed out that, like, LeBron is, like, top five in points and top five in assists. Right. And the same token, Le was it Mike is, here you go, here you go, right here. In scoring, in top ten in assists, okay? He blows Jordan's assists out of the water. He's about to pass Jordan in points. In like a month or two. He blows his assist. He's just all around a better player than Jordan. 
Michael Jordan is the only player who was top five in scoring and top five in steals. The only player. And up until Kobe passing him not too long ago, Michael Jordan was top three in points and top three in steals. So for the people out there like OSC who are acting as if like LeBron is the only one who's going to be top 10 in two different statistical categories or top 15 or top 20 in a certain amount of statistical categories, please spare me. Michael Jordan has accomplished that as well. Just stop. I know for whatever reason you don't count steals or blocks or turnovers or free throw percentage. I know those are four stats that many people commonly use, but for whatever reason you went out of your way to look at PER despite the fact that you don't even know what that is. But you know what a steal is, you know what a block is, but for whatever reason, you love to overlook those things. But yes, Michael Jordan is top three up until when Kobe Bryant passed him, top three in both points and steals. And he's still top five in both points and steals to this day. LeBron James. So. I mean, like I said, I just, I don't buy his argument. I, I, I see he's passionate about it. I just totally disagree. <laughs> What's, totally your, what's your top 10? So we got one through three. We got one through four. We got Mike, LeBron, Kobe, Shaq. That's four. Mike, LeBron, Kobe, Shaq, Elijah Five. Okay. Um, I'm going to throw you off with a couple. I already know this. So this is why I would never do this on YouTube. <laughs> well, you're about to be on YouTube, so here we are. <laughs> but... Um, Larry Bird and Charles Barkley. Se six and seven? Six and wow. seven. Wow. Pound for pound, Charles Barkley was an absolute beast yeah. on the basketball court. Yeah. Unstoppable. Never really placed on the team when he extended his career uh -huh. that he could be a threat to win. But every night on the court, Charles Barkley – was a fool. He wasn't nothing but six four. Yes, <laughs> he was a fool. He could not be stopped. He simply could not be stopped. So six and seven, Barkley, Barkley, Elijah Wine. Wait, so so five is Elijah Wine, six is Bird, seven is Barkley, eight. Right, eight is Kareem. Okay, nine. I don't know. Nine and ten would be tough for me because I think there are so many players that I like. Like when I came along, when you talk about players like Isaiah Thomas, uh -huh. um, so it would probably be Magic at nine, and then possibly I don't know, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me start off. Okay. This is off the dome, so this gets a little yeah, crosshair. Hold on, let's let's let's, let's type this out. Let me All right. Drive. We'll just type this out. So, Mike. The easy part is Michael Jordan. LeBron. Kobe. Kiel, Lajuan. I don't know how to spell that, so Akeem. Akeem would be fine. Bird. Bird. What in the world? Barkley. Kareem. Kareem. Nine. You put magic. magic. And then ten would be because like who are you who are you considering it at ten? Hmm. Because this isn't a bad list at all. I think the one that would throw people off is Barkley. Bird. Oh, Barkley. No, Bird. No, I think Bird, a lot of people will put Bird in it, but the one that's throwing would throw people off is it's Barkley. Barkley. Yeah. yeah, but I, I I get your point. Like. Other than Dennis Rodman giving him problems, I don't think there was anybody out there really Nobody. who could like Nobody. challenge him really. So I understand that one. Yeah. 
But number 10. Hmm, that's tough. I mean, like Isaiah Thomas, Tim Duncan, Will, Oscar Robinson, Allen Iverson. Yeah, because I initially thought Oscar Robinson because of the averaging of a triple double. But in West, a time where Westbrook destroyed negative. that. So. Yeah, but he destroyed it in a different way. He destroyed it taking care of Russell Westbrook. Oh no, no, no! no I think we think it the same way. Yeah. Like it, it's not the same right as it once was. Like when you first old. did it, it was like, oh wow, like. We never seen nothing like this. Then you did it two, three seasons in a row, and then we realized how you were doing it. Yeah. And it's not the same. Yeah. Dang, I don't think I got a 10 then. Because I think it becomes it becomes clouded. It becomes either who was the most exciting, who was the most because every player on there brought something to a team that was Undeniably, Barkley's the only one on that list that doesn't have a, a ring. A ring, yeah. Um, but him not having a ring is not short of his effort right. on the basketball. Court. I think yeah, people get sometimes too caught up in rings. Yeah, like because I I hate talking about when it comes to football as well. I hate talking about like team accomplishments because yeah. it's like that's more so like your environment. What did you do specifically? Right. That's right. why I like Kobe. So. Yeah. And Shaq as well, because like wherever Shaq was gonna go, when nobody right. stopped him. So it came was the same way. So the production, aside from the rings, the production was always gonna be there. So I guess I'll have to say Bill Russell then. I'll have to put Russell in there because that was a lot. And I and I know people would disagree because you got Wilt, you got, but Wilt was so dominant. Wilt was so dominant, it's hard to fathom that he don't have 11 rings. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. So. There, there, there is a video, videos put together where he's talking about him versus Michael Jordan. I mean, I, I think that's a tough comparison because that's, they're two different people, two different sizes, two different approaches to the game, two different. His, his logic was like, when I was playing, I had to stop scoring to make the team better, or like some something like that. I was like, "Let me explain something to you. I don't care." Because you making it seem like if you was playing today, you wouldn't be as dumb. No, because there yeah. are more people that are your size. There and are more people, way more offensively talented than you, yeah. better on defense than you. Now, if Mike was to go there, he would dominate. Yeah. I think Kareem could be anywhere on this list from number one to number 10. Okay. Because if you look at Kareem, you think about And I had a conversation with a parent the other night where we were working drills and this kid did a hook shot. And then I said, what are you doing a hook shot? I ain't never taught you how to do a hook shot. What is that about? And he was like, you know, a hook shot coach. And I was like, I know what a hook shot is. <laughs> why but are why are you doing it? <laughs> And he said, you don't want me to do a hook shot? And I said, you need to listen to this and, and listen to me carefully. There's only one person in the history of basketball that perfected a move that nobody could stop and nobody could emulate. Right. That is the hook shot right. from Kareem. People train, people do it <laughs> all the time, but how often do you see it? I saw a little short kid the other night on highlights do a hook shot off the wrong foot. He couldn't do that 100 times if he wanted to. Right. But Kareem could. Could, yep. So, Long foot, everything. Both yeah. hands, all of that. So we don't we don't teach hook shots. Hook shots are not a part of development. Hook shot is a, a phenomenon from a seven foot basketball player, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. And let's not let's not try to follow that. You can do like <laughs> you can do a hook, but like the sky hook, that yeah, that ain't okay. gonna work. You can like turn around and then hook right over the top. That's yeah. different than like you gonna sit here and give me the shoulder fake and yeah, then come no, across yeah. the lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, let, that's not gonna let happen. That go. no. Let that go. Let that go. Let that go. No. But so that is my list. And I, I don't even see me shuffling it around in any way, shape, form, or fashion. You talk about six rings, four rings, five rings, four rings, two, two rings. rings, three rings, no rings, which is the part that's probably gonna get questioned, which is fine. 
um, Kareem five rings, right? Magic five Magic rings. Magic five rings, Bill Russell 11 rings. Yeah. So I think people need to stop with the ring first argument. Yeah. It starts in just. That talent on the basketball court should speak volumes. Um, and every player that's there could play in every era yeah. of NBA basketball players. Yeah. So I think Bill Russell, he would shockingly would work now. Because he would be a rope. He would be he would be Draymond Green. Draymond Green, yep. He would what be Draymond, Draymond Green. is. Yeah. Magic, yeah. Kareem, he would give everybody buckets. Charles Barkley, Draymond again. Yeah. Larry Bird, Kevin Durant esque. That's it, brother. That's it. That's it. That is it. All right. Anything else you want to say? I'm good. I appreciate chopping it up with you about the little thing, little basketball thing. No problem. I now, hopefully, it. this is the last year we have any entertainment about some daggone playing tournament. They can go to hell with that shit. No, it's gonna be more. <laughs> but we gonna come back. No, I'm gonna bring you back for like more playoff basketball. It'll All be right. interesting. Uh, I'll probably come back like once a week. That's fine. And we'll just do this. Um, Hornets is still trash, and we gotta live with it. That's it. All right. Until they straighten up, I'm going to call them the Bobcats. No, boy. Oh, boy.